Hey guys, happy Thanksgiving! I know I'm late, but I do have something to be thankful for, which is that we hit 25,000 subscribers sometime in the last week, which is a massive milestone that I never expected to do. Uh, I've been doing YouTube for five years now, uh, three on this channel alone, but five overall, and I never really thought it would go this way, and it's really neat. Uh, I. I don't know how this happened, so yes, thank you, and thank you for your interest, and thank you for continuing to watch, and thank you for having this continue to go the way it has, because uh, this has actually been the year that changed my life. Uh, I'm doing this full-time now, which seems impossible, but it's happening. It shouldn't be possible with a channel as small as 25,000 subscribers, which in itself is a huge number, because I'm like, that's like several times the size of my entire high school, but uh... But in YouTube terms, that's almost never actually something that that is something that leads to like a full-time job or anything. But uh, it's actually largely due to my Patreon that this is possible. The uh, the supplemental income from that actually has led to 2016 being the year where my life changed, which is funny, of course, because 2016 has been going down. In the records is like this horrible year where everyone's favorite celebrity died and horrible things have happened across the world in every conceivable possible manner. And like this is a shit year, and that's like been the meme of the year. Like this is the that's the where it occupies common headspace. It's just about how bad the year overall was, but it's gonna go down in the back of my head as the year where, where uh, it's pretty much a high water mark for my life, probably. <laughs> so what is Patreon? Patreon is a voluntary subscription service. What happens is you can go to your favorite YouTubers or artists or webcomic people and various other people that uh, do that, that that are usually people that put content out for free. That's usually relying on advertising or something to make their way. But advertising money is not not great. <laughs> so uh, a lot of people who rely on this to supplement their income and make their their lifestyle possible. And if you want to help me or support me, and you you like and you've en enjoyed what I do and like the work I put into it and everything, you have the option of donating one dollar a month, or fifteen dollars a month, or twenty dollars a month, or a dollar fifty a month to make the number have a really weird total. I guess <laughs> it's all up. The options are all there, and it's completely voluntary. Uh, there's no exclusive content to Patreon people. What happens instead is that everything I make for Patreon comes out on YouTube for everyone to see, but what happens is the Patreon people themselves get to Im influence what that content's going to, f to be each month. Every month I do a Patreon series, which you've probably noticed by now, this last one was Mario. In the past it's been Alien Isolation, or Factorio, Crash Bandicoot, Far Cry 4, uh, a bunch of games like that. Uh, there's a whole section for that on my front page if you want to see what the uh, all the Patreon games were. Uh, the people who donate $15 a month or more get to nominate games for the vote at the beginning of every month, and then a couple days later, everyone who's donating any amount of money, all the way down to $1 a month, gets to vote on the list that was generated by the other people. So, I don't, I don't, I don't, I do not personally populate the list, and I do not personally make any decisions about the list. It's just all Patreon people all the way through, and then I play whatever comes out at the end, and uh, it's had some interesting results. And, uh, so if you want to be a part of that, you can go to patreon.com slash SebastianSB, but if you don't want to, that's totally fine, too. It's completely okay. It's fine. I always feel like a shill whenever I bring this up, and I kind of, and I probably kind of am, but, uh, it would be irresponsible not to periodically explain this to people that don't know about it yet and stuff like that. Aside from that, uh, I do have a Twitter account, twitter.com slash SebastianSB. At my URLs for basically everything are always Sebastian SB. Even though, yes, my display name on this is Keith Ballard. Uh, it was always Sebastian SB for the longest time, but then Google Plus got integrated into uh, YouTube and then started showing people's names. Or you could, and you could have the option to hide it, I think, or change who your name is. And a lot of people had stupid fake names and everything. But I just let it stay. And ever since then, my name has been, my real name has been shown as my YouTube account name, and I've been fine with that, because I kind of prefer people just saying my name when they address me than using weird usernames. I don't really like the concept of usernames that much in general, but I made Sebastian SB a long time ago, and I might as well just explain this now because people ask a lot. Uh, I took a German classes in high school, and the gimmick in that class is that uh, people would ad adopt German names and address each other by other German names while in the classroom. I think it was meant to help with pronunciation, or just to teach people a bunch of names, or it was just something that the, the teacher found amusing. I, I don't really know for sure, but uh, that's where I, I got Sebastian, and I have been 
I had used that for usernames at one point because I got tired of my previous Xbox Live username and changed it to Sebastian SP uh, way back when I got the when I transferred from Xbox to Xbox 360. As it was when I, I made the switch to this specific username and I just started using it on everything. So that's why it's my Twitter and my Patreon and my YouTube. And at this point, it just makes sense to keep it consistent and leave it that way. Because if I start changing it, then that'll only lead to more confusion and more changing usernames and all that. So I, I'm just sticking with that. But yeah, if you want to go, to, if you want to follow my Twitter, uh, I say random nonsense sometimes. It's a Twitter account, so that's how it goes. I might go on like the occasional rant about something, but uh, it's also where you can find news things. Like uh, whenever I start a new series, I post a link to the first episode with the thumbnail and everything on Twitter to, as an announcement of the new series happening. So people who think that I uh, flood their inboxes on on YouTube and stuff like that could go to Twitter and follow me via there instead and get their announcements that way when new series start. And that'd be, that'd be one way to finding things out. Uh, I also will occasionally, uh, when special events happen, like say uh, I play, where I'm playing Jackbox games and stuff like that, like Quiplash with Bird and Wander and everyone. Like I'll announce it, oftentimes in Twitter, uh, so that people know to go like watch Bird or Wander's streams uh, if they want to be joining like the audience for that particular session while it's live. I've generally shied away from live streams. I don't think. I like having people talk at me while the recording's happening. I think I like the degree of separation that is re re uh, making the video, then waiting, and then up and then uploading it. So you can join the audience, which means that you can, in stuff like that, you can like vote on uh, who's winning each round and everything. But I'm usually not in chat because it's distracting and it messes with things a little bit. So I, I've, I've chosen to separate myself a bit from that. Uh, you can also get announcements like about how I'm collapsing the video upload schedule. Yeah, let's. I guess let's address that. <laughs> uh, so, it's it's holiday season right now, and that's problematic for someone like me who wants to play the games that you guys want me to play. But also, I I tend to finish games, and games are long, and they take up so much so much space in the schedule uh so i'm i think i'm what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take ori in the blind forest silence uh super mario 3d world and perfect dark and put them all as every other day episodes so that instead of taking four slots per day they take up two slots per day but they all consistently have videos every other day and so they're not disappearing or anything like that they'll be they'll be constantly showing up just slightly slower but the, they're not going to be forgotten or anything uh, and that's because uh it's the turn of the month right now. Uh, tonight slash tomorrow, Final Fantasy 15 comes out, and a lot of you guys want me to play that. And then uh, Shadow, not Shadow of the Colossus, uh, uh, The Last Guardian's coming out, and obviously people want that to be played. And it's about to become a new month, which means a new Patreon game comes out. That's three new time slots, so I had to I had to make room somewhere when I, without canceling anything, and that's how that's probably going to take place. It's relatively routine for certain games to go up every other day on this channel. And it's almost a given to happen sometime in November and December because that's when every game is usually coming out because of the nature of Christmas and uh, consumerism and capitalism and release schedules and all that other stuff. And yeah, that's actually been less chaotic this year than it has in previous years for me, but uh, it's still, it still made things a bit crowded all of a sudden. Oh, speaking of which, by the way, yeah, yeah, I said new Patreon games coming out in a couple days here. So you guys have, if you want to get in on the next vote, you have like 24 to 48 hours to get on Patreon and and join so that you're in there in time. Uh, if you join late, you won't, you probably won't be a part of that vote, but you will still be up for next vote. It all depends on whether or not you basically got charged for that month, and they charge at some vague window that's around the first or second day of the month usually. So if you want to be cho uh, choosing what comes up after Super Mario World, which was the last one that was a Patreon game, then you can hop on there to find out how to deal with that. So uh, sorry if you're disappointed by any games, uh, if your favorite games are the ones that are being reduced in schedule, but uh, it's just a reality of trying to make the schedule work and meet all the demands people have, and it, it's mostly a symptom of my... It's mostly a symptom of the fact that I try to finish everything I start, which a lot of channels don't, and that's why my my schedule's always so crowded, is because a lot of people uh, quit games as soon as they lose interest in them, or as soon as uh, 
the audience loses a bit of interest in them because they know they can start another game and get people to start watching that more anyway. And so they just keep starting new games over and over again and, and rarely finishing them because otherwise the schedule piles up like it does for me. But uh, I try to do the insane option of not that and finishing the games. And that's ins and that's that's crazy. But it, it's working? Question mark? Or so people seem to like it, aside from their poor wounded inboxes that are being flooded with videos all the time. But uh, I'm happy with how it's turning out. Last thing I want to talk about is uh, I, I figured 25,000 subscribers were, were probably getting high enough. It's probably, I might as well make a Discord channel, right? I don't really know what to do with it necessarily, but it exists. <laughs> Uh, other channels that I associate with also have their own Discord channels, and, I've, and people were asking for a Discord channel, and I figured I would just go ahead and start one. Um, there's technically voice channels on it. I haven't really been using them, and I probably won't be in them much, because that's a that's like a full engagement with uh, the channel as a full-on distraction that is too much. But I do have the chat client open for the text communication part uh, uh, all the time. Uh, so I... I It'll probably look like I'm always in it because my client's usually open, but I'm kind of sporadic because I, obviously I can't be talking to chat when I am recording Let's Plays or sleeping or being outside as a human doing things while re videos render and things like that. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm in there fairly often. Uh, other people that I collaborate with, like Andrew and Wanderbot, are often in there. Uh, Andrew's in there a lot, actually, like he's addicted to it or something. Uh, he might actually be addicted to it. Uh, he, I think he likes chat clients. So if you want to talk to us, and you want to, and especially if you want to talk to other audience members and, and form a little community and stuff like that, and me, and and learn who each other are and things like that, then you can follow the, the link to join the uh, the Discord channel with the uh, the the stupid name not a hockey not the hockey player because I share the name uh, first and last name of a retired hockey player, and that's how a shocking number of people find my channel is by searching for videos of hockey and then somehow running it running into let's play videos and that's confusing that's strange but anyway uh don't be a dick uh there's a lot of people and i don't have much moderation right now because I, I i'm still figuring out who to even make into moderators in the first place so i'm pretty much self-moderating the channel right now and i if i see you being terrible i'll probably just ban you and there probably won't be much of a like a appeals system for figuring it out, so just be a decent person to everybody else. Uh, frankly, uh, frankly, uh, something like a Discord channel just isn't important enough for me to be that worried about whether or not I've banned the wrong person, so just don't be a shitty person. <laughs> In other words, don't be the person that makes me regret uh, rolling this out to all of YouTube. It's been good so far. It's been open for the last week or so, and I put it out to Twitter and Patreon people, and it's been alright. Uh, I'm slightly apprehensive about putting out to YouTube, not because I think my YouTube audience is bad or anything, but because there's so many of you that it might... There might be someone who's awful. <laughs> so, don't be that person, please. <laughs> there should be a link for everything, uh, for my Patreon, my Twitter, and my Discord, all in the description, and probably on the screen somewhere and stuff like that, so be sure to check out whichever ones that are interesting to you, or none of them. If none of them are, whatever. Watch videos. Videos exist. I, there's so many weird things in this channel, you probably don't even know we're on there somewhere. We played PT. We played so many strange, obscure, stupid little games on this channel. Oh, searching is weird. People keep asking me to play games I've already played, which is amusing to me. I try to reply with links when that happens, but if you ever have the thought, Keith, you should play this game, and it's not a game that's brand new, definitely go to the little, like, the little ma magnifying glass on my uh, channel to search for that game. Uh, because you'd be surprised how often it turns out that the game's already played, and then you then it's a whole new surprise, because uh, an entirely complete Let's Play that you didn't even know existed is just waiting for you. <laughs> Thanks like always, guys. Uh, thank you for 25,000 subscribers. Thank you for a very interesting year, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>